Hey what's going on guys, hope all you are doing, welcome to a new video tutorial from iPinwist. Today I'm going to have a new video tutorial about Visual Studio Code extensions. So just I'm going to talk about 5 top extensions I use or ideally use for my uh, projects. So on Visual Studio Code of course. So if you have been like using Visual Studio Code and wondering what extensions to use, I've just brought you the 5 things that you should consider first installing on your environment. So let's just go ahead and start by the first important one which is the prettier code. So whether you're working as a web developer or any other, any other kind of developer using any language out there, prettier is just the best choice for you. So prettier does uh, like colorize and make your code looks way much more beautiful. So the name doesn't does make you know that what is the main functionality behind that. So prettier just gonna prettify your code. So whenever you kind of type some miserable, ridiculous code that is never going to be understood by anyone else besides you. So pretty sure just on the save, whenever you just type control save or press control save, it's just going to pretty, pretty, pretty fly everything up for you. So if you can take a look in here, um, we have like a variable and it's just going to control or let's declare like an object. And this look, as you can see, this is a miserable code. Let's say like uh, this is going to be a value and this is going to be like or the key. Uh, this is gonna be like the key and the value. So as you can see, there's no indentation, no spaces between the codes, or no different things. So this is like a very miserable things, no like no ending line or something like that. So yeah, this is very good, especially when you have like a lot of lines. So it's gonna be like very very hard to understand what's going on. But prettier since I'm using prettier in here, I'm installing it, and I've enabled it like on the save under the workspace settings. So whenever like just Control S. As you can see, we get a beautiful code made for us. So as you can see, we Prettyver has formatted this code for us and it makes it looks absolutely awesome. Let's say you have like a lot of objects, key elements, pairs, whatever. So it's just gonna do all of the job for you. Functions, classes, objects, yada yada yada, loads of things. So we're just gonna prettify codes for you. So you should go ahead and consider installing Prettyver for you. Also, you can, you can actually take a look on the configuration. So it has a lot of large set, con set of configurations you can add for your workspace specifically however you like it to behave so yeah you can just go ahead and watch that or just go ahead and install it in your environment so this is called prettier code formatter also what comes with prettier so like the you need to install both of these so they look like uh, like one single extension it is the ES lint so if you can go ahead and search for the ES lint the ES lint is actually a linting extension so uh, Visual Studio Code already includes a linting extension for JavaScript but this ES6 which is like a shortcut for ECMAScript linting so it's just gonna way much more advanced for linting so whenever you have errors or something it's just gonna tell you where specifically there are errors and so on and so forth and you can have a, a very detailed error object errors and stuff like that it's pretty pretty nice thing uh, also it can tell you if you are actually under the ESX or something uh, you can tell it to have like a minion here and as you can see it just give you like ESLint parsing error and expected token me let me because the let is not known anyway so the let keyword is not known in here since we are not using ESX so it's just gonna tell you or like warn you that you need to go ahead and use ESX and loads of other scenarios just was it's like a very simple exp example so make sure to go ahead and install that alongside period because ESLint and Prior works together alongside each other and it's just gonna make your life way much more easier as you can see in here from the downloads there is 7 million downloads yeah they're gonna make way much more your life also we have another one which is pretty good for me it says the indent rainbow so it's very lightweight uh, extension but it does like or makes a whole sense when you try to use it so right now it might looks like well what is that it doesn't really matter but for if you try to use it for more than a month you, you will understand what is the beneficial of using this extension uh, on your environment so this extension what it does the spaces all the tabs on the code it's just gonna colorize them so as you can see it's just gonna gives them a really nice color uh, whenever you try to put a tab or space in order to make you know that you have like a, how many tabs or stuff this is actually very very important for you if you are actually a Python developer because since or actually 
Uh, Python, all of it is based under the indentation and uh, the orientation of the code. So make sure to go ahead and grab that. Also for JavaScript, anything else is very important. HTML, everything, as you can see, you get a very colorful uh, code in here. Whenever you just type these things, as you can see, you get color over and over again, which is pretty, pretty nice, which makes you looks like your code is going to be like looking way much more organized than it should. Also, you can understand it whenever you are, when you, whenever I Actually, you look at it the next thing which is for all of the develop developers actually gonna need that which is the dash documentation so if you have never heard about this before it's give you you can actually access all of the documentation for all of your libraries languages whatever you are using frameworks offline on your PC from Visual Studio Code just by pressing two keys uh, simultaneously so this extension called dash and it's going to allow you to access an offline documentation from any library or framework you are using uh, for your for the actual development. So if you can go ahead and t take a look on the snippet sets in here, it's just going to give you very quickly. So whenever you click that, it gives you the documentation as you can see for anything you want. Also, it has like a, a like a configuration and like a support languages. So what you can use, and what you can't use. Uh, one thing I want to mention about this for like Windows and Linux, this is a free, this is like through the Zill, as you can see, the Zill integration, but for Mac, you need to pay for the Dash subscription, about $30 or something. It's totally worth it, so make sure to go ahead and grab that. For the Dash documentation, let's say you have like, an, uh, like a variable in here called dates, and you are going to actually create a new date instance on JavaScript, but you still don't know specifically how the date API operates uh, behind the scenes, and you want to get the methods available and how to use it in order to make a valid date. So you can go ahead and take a look uh, on the documentation using the Dash documentation without just going ahead and Googling things up. Uh, this is like the modern thing that you need to go ahead and, and consider doing just by clicking Control Alt and H on the keyboard together and you should just go ahead and see a pop up in here. So doing that again, Control A H and here you go. So as you can see, you get the Zill application in here and as you can see, you get the uh, dates documentation. I don't know, it's, it's froze or something, but you're still going to get the dates in here as you can see you can access as many libraries or frameworks as you will like or as you are using for your projects over there. The next one, which is pretty great actually, is the live server. So this is like for web developers. Uh, it's very important, so like for a very important extension for you to have. It's called the live server. It has more than a million, uh, more than half of a million uh, downloads and full five stars rating. So as you can see, what it does is whenever you're actually trying to like uh, make your web pages or something using HTML and CSS. So without just saving and going to the browser again and refreshing, if there's any error or something, you go back and fix the error, then save and refresh all of that routine thing. Yeah, th you don't need to do that. So just control S and the automatically or the live server extension gonna automatically refresh everything up for you on this browser uh, very quickly. So this works with HTML. So if, as you can see, to make sure to go ahead and install that and reload, of course, to works. And you're gonna get this really nice icon in here this status icon in here. So what does this status icon on the uh, like the bottom bar? So you just click it and as you can see get starting and you get the server started and it's just gonna new tab gonna be like initiated on your default browser for me. I'm using Chrome of course. So you can get that but you can work what you can make it looks better is work side by side and do this. So here's like our extension or our uh, HTML documentation or the documents we are working on. What you can do is let's say you want to like you are you are actually starting to work on a web page, so you can put in here like a dev inside a dev. You have an H3, and you put hello world or something. Um, you put that and you control S, save that, and as you can see, you get that automatically refreshed for you and just refreshed very really fast without doing anything from from you. Also, you can go ahead with the CSS. Let's say you're gonna put a body and a background, uh, background color of like a red or something like that, and it just control S, save it, and it changes immediately without your intention. And we have another extension, which is the last extension, and 
this is the path into license so this extension is very very important for you since you are as a programmer or as a developer you are actually going to deal with paths so whatever you are actually trying to import other uh, files from other directories all over your file system and so on and so forth or on, in JavaScript trying to require some NPM packages or anything like that frameworks libraries custom files you're going to actually need to deal with the paths so this extension what it allows you to do is you gives you a really nice into license about the path you are looking for so let's just go ahead and see or say let's we have in the, the uh, actual dates in here uh, all we want is actually to declare a new variable that gonna hold a path so let's say like gonna be the, our path and you're just gonna use the quotes you know to, uh, to tell you that you are actually going to use a path let's say you say dots and forward slash that means that we are actually going to look for a file on our or the current directory from the app.js which is the distribution folder so as you can see it's going to give you the really nice into license of the available files under the current directory you are trying to look for if you try to go back once as you can see just going to give you anything and you can just go ahead and look for it you can go to like the whole file system the whole partitions look forward to any old files you like you want to or like uh, important to your projects and work with so this is gonna make your life way much more easier and it can allow you to see the files actually exist in real time without just going ahead and open up the Explorer and just try to find the file auto uh, manually then go ahead and copy the the full path and so on and so forth like just gonna save you a lot of time I have like in during my website the last video tutorial I've recorded about Visual Studio Code, the setup for web developers, like my whole setup. I had a lot of video tutorials, high quality video tutorials as well as the written tutorials, so you can enjoy reading these tutorials. Hopefully you can just put that subscribe button and the like and the comments, all of that will be very appreciated. And I will catch you all in the next video tutorial.